away from that is that I'm not a snowflake, and I may not ever eat a banana the same way again. But thank you for that. <laughs> All right. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard that the road to success is long. Well, have you heard of the 12.5 mile journey to goal setting? You will in 2.5 seconds when Miss Carrie Kennedy takes the stage. Maybe when I lose 10 pounds, maybe when I get married, maybe when I have kids, maybe when the kids are out of college. All of those things are someday, and someday gets in the way of whatever we do. So when it comes to goal setting, you definitely have to take a look at what you want to do and put a date and a timeline to it. I did that with Key West. Now most people go to Key West to drink, and we did. But I actually went to Key West, and a friend of mine in the audience here has done this too, and we swam 12 and a half miles around the island. Thank you. Holy crap, it was a long way. But it was a lot of fun. And for someone who had only swam three miles before in my lifetime, 12 and a half miles sucked. People ask you questions like, are you afraid of sharks? And you go, no, it's not that bad. And the rest of them go, what the hell are you thinking? Are you serious? So yeah, sharks are not a big deal down there, thankfully. There's a lot of tarpon. But what comes with goal setting is being able to take a big, nasty goal, like swimming 12 and a half miles, and breaking it down like eating an elephant, right? You just break it down into small goals, a little bit of action every day, and make those actions, every single one of them, worthwhile and worth your time. So how do you break this down? Started out just doing, you know, 5,000 meters, adding a little bit more, adding a little bit more, and then by the time you get to the day of the race, 12 miles doesn't feel like a whole heck of a lot. Well, yeah, it does actually, but we won't go there. It also means 400 laps, two hours of looking at the same damn Band-Aid at the bottom of the pool. <laughs> I'm sick of that damn Band-Aid. But those kind of repetitions actually make you feel a lot better. And uh, during all that time also, you have to start thinking about what is it that's, that is in, our, in the way of our goals? Uh, how do we get there? What do we plan? Are we looking for that island? Are we planning ahead? Do we have to look for sharks? My poor kayaker, she, she was on this journey with me as well, so we had to plan ahead to make sure, is she going to tip over? Uh, what do we do if she does? And if somebody, if that shark does show up, I just want to scratch the guy behind me and go a little bit faster so that the blood gets on him. No, it's not that bad. <laughs> One of the biggest things with goal setting is you got to ask for help. You got to ask for help from your friends, your families, your neighbors, and no matter what you do, those people are going to be there to help you. This is my crew. Diana was my kayaker, uh, social media expert, Sonia, and, and me. All of these people are adventure people, and they're all endurance junkies as well. They understand that sometimes you go to bed at 8 o'clock on a Friday night, and it really sucks because you've got to get up and swim the next day. You also have to look for complete strangers. I found this guy on the internet. He, honest to God, I reached out and asked for help, and this nut came up, and it turns out he ended up being my coach. He's going to swim the English Channel here in a couple of years, hopefully. Uh, he's crazy. The other thing you got to think about is anything you do, whether it's looking for your job, looking for a, a new adventure, you have to train the way you race, meaning dress the part, act the part, start working ahead to what your dreams are, and it becomes an every, everyday event. Come race day, you've made all those plans, you've made all those uh, thinking ahead to anything that could happen, and then you let go. You take that interview and you let go. You come to do a speech, you just let go. It's awesome. And your people that are there to support you will take care of you, I promise you that. They'll, they'll get you all lathered up. Oh my God, that looks big on screen. <laughs> You know, and, and my kayaker was all ready to go. The starting gun goes off and two other, 200 other crazy people are in the water with you. And you have to try to beat every single one of them, right? You want to be the one that's the winner. You want to be the one that's ahead. You want the one that gets that job. But if all your plans have come to fruition, you've done the training, you've done the race, you've done the job, next thing you know, you're halfway there and there's nobody else in sight, right? You get ahead of some of the other people. Um, the plans go well. You eat every 20 minutes, you drink every 20 minutes. This is great, this is like my travel slideshow, then you guys are sucker too. And then at the very end, you get to hug your kayaker, you get to hug those people that really helped you make it, make it to the end and win. Five and a half hours later, I, I came in about fifth place, 
which was pretty cool. Yeah. The last, you know, it was a long day for a lot of us. And then you go celebrate. That's probably one of the most important parts of getting your goals. You go celebrate. This is a great rum bar down in Key West. It's really good. You celebrate and then you plan the next adventure. But what I want to leave you with, if anything else, is don't let that someday get in your way. Take a plan, put a date to it, and make whatever that goal is happen. Thank you.